Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 29th, 2024. Yes, I'm getting this up a little bit late, but it's going to be worth it, okay? I promise. So first and foremost, I want to announce that I will be on Namaste Today for a, a segment on Christopher Wateki's show this Friday, August 2nd, 2024. It's going to start, the whole show starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. My segment will be 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to check that out, there will be a little gift involved for you. And no, it's not the kind of thing where if you show up, you might have a chance at a free reading. It's not that. If you show up, you're going to have something that you can use. All right. So just keep that in mind. I also want to take this opportunity to give the Inky Pearl a shout out. They're going to be having a Reiki, a group Reiki session Wednesday, August 7th. I almost said July. Did I say July before? August. <laughs> August 7th. And they are at theinkypearl.com. Go check that out. Join if you can. All right. They are lovely, lovely people good energy. They're doing really good things in this world. So go check them out. All right. There's that. Let's talk about, I said talk. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about what's going on here. Um, there's a little bit of an energy here of disappointment. Now that doesn't have to, I know it sounds crazy to say that doesn't have to be a bad thing. But what I mean by that is more and more we're going to be seeing division. And a lot of people might say, well, that's because in the U.S. it's an election year. Uh, people are divided in their beliefs. Um, there's so there's something that's so much more subtle than that. And it is just a general, it's the spiritual warfare stuff that I've been talking about forever. There's the light and there's the dark. And it's now permeating through people that are probably the closest to you. So this would be the kind of thing where you go, you know what, my love partner isn't being there for me, or you know what, my friends are not supportive, or um, someone's judging you. I, you know, there's been a lot of judgment. I found myself getting judgy too. And I, it makes me wonder. I think some people are just jerks and they just do that. <laughs> but uh, there can be times too where you're living defensively. So I think a lot of that, you're going to be aware of this in this coming week, okay? And beyond, right? Uh, so there's that piece of it. On top of this, there are big opportunities coming up for some of you, some of them quite unexpected. And I think you're going to be very tempted to step back and say, no, no, I can't possibly, that's not for me. And I say that because it, it's asking you to step outside of your comfort zone. So be on the lookout for that. This might be the kind of thing where maybe it's a job opportunity that you don't feel that you are qualified for or... Maybe there's a love opportunity coming and you're like, hey, I <laughs> I vowed to be single, but am I having feelings for someone? You know, that sort of thing. What might also be coming up is some of you might be cleaning out your friend groups and saying, you know, I'd rather be alone or I'd rather, you know, just figure things out by myself without a lot of opinions coming in. So there's that sort of uh, the, the base layer right, of the spiritual warfare. And then on top of that, here's your human existence trying to work with that spiritual warfare energy. So I hope that's making sense. I hope I'm saying that clearly enough. Now I'm going to get some cards here. If you want to get a personal reading with me, uh, angelsouls444.com, that will get you the standard reading. I'm going to be working over those, working over those, working through those in the coming week. So as I always let you guys know, now's the time to get in line if you want to get one of those. Angelsouls444.com. I can fit in a couple more live sessions this week, but spots are limited. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Um, getting this up on Tuesday night, I can get you in tomorrow night. It's first come, first serve, okay? So <laughs> just keep that in mind. All right, let's see what else we have as a message for this week. Michael is and has and will always be a, a huge presence here and for good reason. All right. So we got the Ace of Ariel. There's that, you know, opportunity, something to celebrate, something you got to learn. Oh, y'all. Okay. Do I want to take another one? Yeah, let's take another one. <laughs> 
All right, now we can bring the microphone back. Now that I got the cards pulled here. Okay. You guys are going to love this story. Hang tight. So we have first the Ace of Ariel, and this says it's your lucky day. New resources. Remember I was saying there could be something coming up. This is a big deal. This is like a big opportunity. And you might be like, I, 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 I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to be successful or I don't know. How to, I don't know. For some of you, it might be a speaking engagement where you're like, I don't know how to get up on stage and have a TED Talk or whatever the deal may be. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. Okay. Now, does that mean that for every single person watching this, you're going to get a new job? No, but you could have some revelation or bright idea or something but it's practical it's not in the dream land it doesn't stay there okay it gets manifested into the physical but there could be something <sighs> i'm sorry i just I, I see the next card so this could just be something that it's it's you know you get into it there are things to learn about it but man you come out on top And the next card we have here is Three of Raphael, something to celebrate. So this also makes me feel like, you know, this the Ace of Ariel was saying a new support. This feels like a lot of support as well. So if you're around people, you're spending time with people who just don't support you. They just are cruel to you or um, <laughs> neglect. That's another one. I've had friend groups from way back in the day where, if it wasn't about them, it wasn't happening, right? So this is getting with like-minded people. And I, I don't even want to use that term because like-minded means, well, we all have similar common interests. Part of what we're coming into is this energy of that's not enough anymore. That's not enough that we have something in common intellectually. How kind and caring are you? Do you have fake friends? They don't really show that they care about you. Or do you have coworkers that you think you can trust? And, you know, maybe you tell them your idea and they run to the boss and tell the boss the idea and they get, like, a promotion out of it. I don't know. I'm totally making up examples here. But, you know, this sort of thing. Or, or for a lot of you, how much are you willing to take in a love partnership? If you don't feel safe, what are you going to do to feel safe? You know. It, it's all this looking at things from a completely different angle and being completely shocked at what is revealed, okay? Now, so far, <laughs> this is a positive thing. We are all dealing with an ego consciousness. So if you have a lot of things that these realizations are hitting up against, it might, you might get hurt. You might have a broken heart this week, but make sure you nurture yourself, take care of yourself, and like I said, Archangel Michael's in here to protect. And Gabriel here as well. So, but this is Raphael. <laughs> Raphael's coming up. Uh, three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, uh, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. You're now choosing the path that feels comfortable. Not Okay, so comfortable in the sense of I feel like I'm in a flow with these people. Or I feel like I'm in a flow with this project. Or you know, some decision that you're making around your life or lifestyle. I feel like comfortable with that decision. Now, the practical part of it, that may not be the most comfortable because you might be <laughs> thrown into something. Like I literally am getting like the vision of somebody who was in the dark and then someone puts a spotlight on them and they're like, you know, you're talented, go, right? And <laughs> you might be like, wait a minute, I didn't even get a chance to warm up. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? But there is something to celebrate here. And with this Ace of Ariel card here, again, it could be quite fruitful. Then here's the Three of Ariel. Here's where we get into that uncomfortable. We got to, you know, go beyond our comfort zone thing. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. I'm telling you you could find yourself getting with I keep feeling groups like like it's a shift and let, let me give it to you this way when I lived in New York City you know I have all the stories uh, back in my day um, but when I lived in New York City it had a very distinct type of lifestyle there although I love New York I really do but there were people that I worked with who were fair weather friends and you know I had groups of friends I had tons of friends right? But when push came to shove, they couldn't be bothered. If I was going through something, they were not 
people that I could talk to. As a matter of fact, they were the last people I would let know what was happening in my life because they put bad energy around that, right? So eventually, even though I was afraid of doing things on my own, I had done plenty independently, but I was afraid of not belonging. I was afraid of um, being the outcast, I guess, and having to do things on my own. And then I just did it. It was uncomfortable, but I learned how to care less <laughs> what people think. And I found myself going to Hawaii by myself. And it was the most extraordinary trip, uh, mostly because nobody was telling me what to do. Nobody was gaslighting me. Nobody was putting me down. Nobody was telling me I couldn't go off and explore something I wanted to see, you know. So that's kind of what we're talking about here. It doesn't have to necessarily be a tangible or surface level uh, ego consciousness kind of thing. There will be that aspect to it. There's also a deeper realization that's going on. But it is, oh, it is leading to so much growth. It is a magical, magical time. So it's the magician. The number on here is one. So we're getting back to ourselves, being true to ourselves, being more authentic. And that may mean saying no to people. It may mean, hey, <laughs> you know, I, I don't have to sit here. And I keep feeling this sense of like, I don't have to take this anymore. I don't have to take this anymore. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings. There will be things happening out in the world. And that can shake you. It can shake your faith. Again, this sense of dividing and seeing the darkness working through people and that being incredibly disappointing and you know the people you love the most might let you down all right but with this card here and the next one that I'm about to reveal you're gonna find your way through you definitely are you're finding your own foundation like uh, not I was going to put it very simplistically, not being so influenced by other people's moods or desires or whatever. But again, it, it's so expansive. It's so expansive. It's sort of like I, I always have me. I can always love me. And it's not pretend. Now, we have to check ourselves too. Are we the types of people who are like, yeah, 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 you can trust me. And then you go telling everyone's business. When I talk about karma being instant, it's freaking me out, okay? And <laughs> I'm used to this stuff. But like I have seen people who have not been on the up and up and have not been treating people very nicely. Things are happening to them. Things are shifting and moving and changing in their lives. Now that... If you ended up losing a job or something, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. Or if you had a breakup, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad person. You had karma coming to you. I mean, I, like I said, for a lot of people, it is going to be, um, you know, a personal shift that is occurring and a brand new chapter is opening up. But I think you're going to be watching some other people and you're like, no, that was karma. Okay, you had that one common. <laughs> like, yes, you did. All right, so we, we end with the empress. Again, giving birth to a new chapter, this life force energy. And it's the number three, doing everything from a, a deep place of wisdom, okay? Where it's like, I'm not going down that path anymore. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let people take advantage of me or take me for granted. That's a big one. I think a lot of people who are watching, you're very empathic. Now, we have dark empaths who like to think of themselves as... Um, doing something wonderful for the world that's I'm not going into that discussion they're watching too but I'm talking about the people who you haven't had your chance to bloom and I don't care if you're 110 years old and you're like I'm 110 years old how could I possibly bloom at this stage of my life it's never too late it's never too late and here it is so the Empress Archangel Gabriel I mentioned Gabriel before and and here Gabriel is time to act upon your plans Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So money is also flowing here. We have the Ace of Ariel. We have the Empress card, the Magician card. You're getting stuff out of the way. And for some of you, it's a little comical. And I don't want to downplay what everybody is experiencing. But um, I don't know. I want to get one more card. There's a card sticking out here. <laughs> okay. 
I just, I was getting distracted. There was a card sticking out and here it is. Eight of Michael. So you're being released from something. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So changing your situation has to do with changing your mind. So if you're somebody who says, well, I have to accept this, I need a job. Um, you know, be careful because things are a little tough out there, but you don't have to be disrespected. That is not something that's on the table and uh, an absolute. Do you see what I'm saying? Also, I would encourage all of you, if you are a very creative person, bust out that book again. Get to writing that music. Go to the Reiki <laughs> session on August 7th with the Inky Pearl. Come check me out. This has nothing to do with creativity. Well, yes, it does. Because Christopher Wateki, have you ever seen his shows? I could never. Okay, I could never. I, <laughs> I think it's great. So there you go. There's another example of creativity on August 2nd. This show is going to start on Stay Today at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. For those of you who maybe skipped past that part, my segment's going to be 6.30 p.m. Pacific. And what would that be? 9.30 p.m. Eastern. There you go. We got to catch all the audience, right? You know what I mean? All right. So I think this is some good stuff. Comment down below because I know this week started off a little wobbly. Um, and I just felt that. I just felt that in the air. Um, I started experiencing people who were like unnecessarily cruel um, or just not realizing that they can't get away with the same stuff they always did. So if you are a Gen Xer, okay, let's just talk to the Gen Xers for just a moment. Um, you remember how cruelty was humor. Um, no one was safe. <laughs> no one was safe. Like we would make fun of anything and everything. And if you didn't like it, well, then there's something wrong with you, right? So um, this is that kind of thing where it's like, no, 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 it's not funny. It's not okay. It's not okay to take your hurt and push it onto someone else. It's not okay to, you know, diminish what, you know, someone else wants to do with their life. A lot of you are going to be getting a lot of kickback, I think, about choices that you're about to make. So we're breaking through. We're breaking through that. I'm not promising it's going to be pleasant, but you can handle it. You can handle it. All right. Leave your comments down below. I'll see you on August 2nd, and I'm sending you all so much love. Take care.